you're scrolling on TikTok and you see video after video of girly, very feminine pastel clothing, Lana Del Rey, and you're thinking to yourself, what on earth is this? Why do people keep calling it croquette? Coquette? Coquette. Hi, my name's Kellen, and if you're new here, welcome to the Coquette side of YouTube. I'm the Coquette Big Sister. This is my first video, so you're gonna have to bear with me, but subscribe if you haven't already. What is Coquette? How can I be Coquette? There's lots of questions you're probably wondering if you have clicked on this video. If you have no interest whatsoever in Coquette fashion, Coquette content, but you've still clicked on this video, hi. I'm breaking this video down into five parts. How to be coquette, coquette clothing, coquette stereotypes, interest, and Lana Del Rey. First of all, what is coquette? The Google definition of coquette is a flirtatious woman in French. The coquette you are seeing on TikTok is a style. Think a bit of royal core and princesses, cottage core themes, old fashioned themes, academia themes, all mushed into one. You get coquette. First of all, first and foremost, coquette is for anyone and everyone. Anyone can be coquette. There are no coquette stereotypes that you should be paying attention to. So style is the main thing that I want everyone to be aware of. Anyone can be coquette, even you watching this. Some visuals. Lots of lace, lots of bows, baby pink, curls. It's an aesthetic that's got really popular because of TikTok and Pinterest. It's just a softer, more grown-up version of being girly. But how can I be coquette? I think this is the sweetest question. I get asked this a lot on TikTok. There is no how-to guide on how to be the perfect coquette person. There are some tips and tricks that you can follow. I'm going to share them with you. Baby pink anything. If you don't like pink, you're going to find this a very hard aesthetic to follow. Anything with lace, anything with pearls, just buy it. One of the easiest things to do is think about the main things in your life and then apply them to being coquette. Your bedroom, make it coquette. Playlists, music, make it coquette. Start swapping out things you would usually buy for more luxurious things you would buy. Buying things in pastel and baby pink. Collecting youthful things such as plushies or old vintage toys. Start a makeup collection. If makeup's not your thing, start a perfume collection. Buy some pretty jewellery, buy some pretty hair clips. Fashion. I'm not going to go too in depth on coquette fashion because I am going to do a separate video solely dedicated on how to dress coquette, but I will quickly give you an insight into coquette fashion. To find coquette fashion inspiration, the only thing that you are going to want to do is download the app Pinterest and type in coquette fashion. There is so much coquette fashion inspiration on there. I'm not going to get into the details of what makes a coquette outfit because like I said, I'm going to do that in a separate video. But I will quickly tell you three core shops where you can find coquette clothing. The first one is pretty much accessible to all, I think. It's in most countries and that's H&M. H&M surprisingly has some really lovely coquette things. Even if you see it on the hanger and it doesn't look coquette, if you take it away and really analyse it, it can be made with loads of coquette outfits. I find that with a lot of the clothing H&M. The second one is a little bit more controversial and that is Brandy Melville. Brandy Melville has been labelled the most coquette brand that there is. If you do find yourself accessible to a Brandy Melville and it works for you, do not feel bad for shopping there. That is your personal choice. The last one isn't really much of a shop, but it's definitely a recommendation. Shopping on apps like Depop and Vinted are definitely the best way to go, 100%. It's sustainable most of the time. It's cheaper most of the time. I know that I have found most of my coquette clothing and very unique coquette pieces off of Depop and Vinted. Coquette stereotypes. There's no avoiding them, unfortunately. You start scrolling and you see more of it. And then you realise that there is no representation for anyone else in the coquette community. This is wrong and it needs to change. And I myself have been guilty of scrolling for hours on Pinterest and starting to compare myself to these six foot models that are on Pinterest that come under coquette aesthetic. I know that it makes people feel that they can't be a part of something just because they keep seeing images and visionary boards of people that fit into what's considered normal. Let me just tell you now, anyone, no matter what size, no matter what colour, no matter what you identify as, anyone in the world can be coquette, can enjoy coquette fashion, coquette music, anything. Pinterest, my second home, if you will. Pinterest is an app, if you've never heard of it. If you haven't heard of it, you've been living under a rock, but I myself am under one currently, so... I don't judge. If you Google any coquette picture, I guarantee you it originated on Pinterest. It's the hub for the coquette aesthetic. Actually, every single coquette image I have seen on TikTok or on Google most likely ends up or has come from Pinterest. You're gonna wanna download Pinterest. It's free on the App Store and start making boards on coquette things. I'll link my Pinterest. Here is my Pinterest. 
it's a very messy place. I'm a fan of lots of different other styles and aesthetics other than just coquette. So there is a bunch of artistic things on my Pinterest, but there's a lot of coquette things too. If you search it in first, say coquette bedroom, you could make a board on coquette bedrooms. It can get complicated, but once you know how to use the app, uh, it's hard to come off it. I find myself on Pinterest most hours of the day. Once you've been scrolling for a while, it's hard to come off, but it's a really nice escape. I get so much of my inspiration from Pinterest. I upload myself on Pinterest to give others inspiration. Number five. More. Lana Del Rey. <laughs> saying I make the rules around here but if you want to be coquette you've got to listen to at least one Lana Del Rey song before you begin your coquette journey. If you look at early photos of Lana and if you listen to her music and really take note of the lyrics in her songs you will see why we have labelled her as the coquette leader. I don't know where the correlation of Lana and coquette kind of originated. Aside from that, she has some beautiful songs. You need to just go and do your research. Lana Del Rey is really a personal thing. Not everyone's gonna like every song, unless you're me. <laughs> There's definitely coquette themes there. She's very old money. She's very romantic and academia at times. Yeah, we, we adore her. We adore her. It's just like a rule now, actually. I don't know who made the rule, but if you want to be coquette, you have to like Lana. Okay, and that is it. Like I said, there's no actual rules in Coquette. It's not a how-to guide. It's not a rule book that you have to follow. These are just things that I do, things that I know, things that the community have kind of grouped together and named for themselves. I love it. I've loved it for two years now, and I wanted to share my knowledge to the world in a more longer video format now that Coquette's becoming more of a trend. That's my dad being loud and not being coquette. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, or even if you learn a little bit about coquette, even if you're not interested in it, like I said, give it a thumbs up if I've taught you something. As the coquette big sister, I'm also active on TikTok, though I do have a few accounts on there, so it's gonna have to be up to you to find them all. But this is also my Instagram, if you want some coquette Instagram inspiration. I could have made this video longer, but I really wanted it to be a really quick introduction to someone that is completely confused by all of these videos that they've been seeing, and they just need one video to sum it all up. But coquette gets deep. There are loads of sub styles and sub categories and sub aesthetics and lots more that I will cover maybe in future videos. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more coquette content and I will see you later and have a beautiful rest of your day. Goodbye from your internet big sister and I love you so much. Goodbye!